All right, so here we are. We got the first cow in the bottom paddock. We're all the way at the woods. And here they come. They're ready to go. All of them hadn't quite made it down here yet. They'll make it. They'll make it for long. We just got done milking. There's all brown Swiss except for one Holstein we're milking for family friend. These cows don't know where the fence is yet, so I'm kind of kind of nervous to where they're going to go. And we've still got cows lagging behind, grazing the lane down, which is good. The lane's pretty much we only got one chance to graze it. It'll it'll be run down tomorrow probably. So I guess it's good that they're eating that. Our nearest water point is way, way, way up at this grain bin. Way up in the far middle of your screen. Right about in there. And the cows walk back and forth throughout the day. We've got computer feeders that feed grain. Free choice grain. And we're averaging about 12 pounds per cow per day as far as grain goes. Each cow's different, but that's the average. And hopefully these cows will eat this stuff down to about 6 inches. And then at 6 inches we'll take them off and move them to another piece. It should take them about maybe 8 or 9 hours to eat it down that low. There's a good bit of grass in here. When we're grazing, the cows pick the food they want, not the food that we put in front of them. So they pick the greenest leaves and best tasting grass, so they might take a bite, move on 10 or 12 feet, and take another bite. In this paddock, we've got a pretty good blend of sorghum Sudan grass little crab grass. There's a lot of crab grass at the far end of this piece. And some clover. Got a pretty good stand of clover, white clover. Some of it's died out. And then the extra grazer, of course. That's the main the main crop in here. These cows are taking their time as long as they know where they can go and where they can't. It's all that matters right now. But they'll pick this down all day and then we'll take them in for milking again tonight herd average right now is about 45 pounds of milk per day which seems pretty low but our cost of production is also pretty low this grass is being harvested by them so I don't have to make hay and haul it to them and store it so this is the cheapest way to get the grass from the from the field to the milk tank. Our total investment on this paddock, this piece here, we just added it. It used to be field, fields where we'd grow corn or hay and then we'd haul it, store it, and feed it. And we converted it into grazing and I think there's about 14 acres here and our total cost was around $1,200 including the seed, fence, labor, everything is about $1,400 I think. You can't see it but along the road there's five foot fixed knot woven wire. It goes all the way down the road. It's a pretty busy road so we wanted a real good fence there. And then the division is all single strand electric fence. It's not high tensile. Along the woods here, we've got three strand high tensile. Goes all the way up to a junction to the woven wire. And they'll stay down here all day and go back and forth for water and grain, minerals. And uh, they should stay down here no matter how hot it gets. They, they usually stay pretty good about that. I think they're calling on about 90 degree weather today. And uh, more than likely, they'll still be down here. 
you know, graze through the heat of the day. I got a little shade this morning, but as the day goes on, they'll be right in the heat of the day. But they have free choice. They can come and go as they please, but they decide to stay down here and eat, which I kind of like that, getting their dry matter intake for the day.